the folks. I am sitting here waiting to go to work and I was scrolling through my, you know, checking my calendar, checking my email, checking eBay, checking the items I've had shipped to me. And I came across this one. Actually, there's two. So, um, you know, I can tolerate a lot, but you know, when this stuff builds up, you know, I have to just say something about it. And I know this is going to be negative and I try to stay away from that, but sometimes it just, it can't be helped. All right. Looking at the screen, you see the due date for my package, April 25th. By the way, today is April 28th. All right. So join me on this little journey. Uh, let's, let's, let's see what's going on here. All right, it was due April 25th. Today's the 28th. It's on the way. We'll update you as soon as more info is available. Now I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you try to guess what shipping company this is before we actually get to it. Just go ahead and guess. Take a wild guess. Don't guess. Okay, it was shipped on the 22nd. Shipped on the 22nd, today the 28th. That's what, uh, roughly, what, six days if my math is right? Six days. And it should have been, what, three days ago? Okay, it's in transit. Okay. So we ain't quite made it there yet. Estimated delivery, 25th. All right, tracking number that don't even matter. You can track it if you want to. Maybe maybe you can find it and tell me where it is and maybe you can get them to speed it up and get it to me. All right. So on the 26th, they let me know it was arriving say late. I knew that after it hadn't arrived at my home like they said it was. Okay. And you know what? This company is good for this. They will say in transit to next facility for days and days. They Okay. Can you at least tell me where it is, which facility it's at? Is it the facility in Atlanta? Is it the facility in New York? What facility? Shipping company. Oh, well, okay. Well, it's out the bag now. You see it right there, USPS. Okay, 24th. In, trans in transit, okay, yeah. It was arriving on time on the 23rd. All right, see, this This has happened to me on more than one occasion over the last few weeks. Similar thing with a package, uh, I believe it was last week. It just, they were just slow moving. It had, it was behind schedule and all they could tell me was in transit to next facility. And then had a, another situation where a package arrived at my house well, no, 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 no. The postman brought it to the house and for some strange reason did not leave the package there. Left a note on the door saying you have to come to the post office to pick it up, but didn't tell us why. My wife went to pick it up and they didn't tell her why. I mean, it's just like they all the other packages they leave, all we could figure out, figure out was maybe Maybe the shipper included a a message or stipulation that it had to be signed for, but the post office did not say that in the note they left us. They did not say that when my, when my wife picked it up. So I'm really getting tired of these this post office. It seems like the more the more the, their rates go up, the worse the service gets. All right, so I'm going to look into possibly getting. We're not getting, but possibly using FedEx or UPS. Once I get home, I'll have to really look hard at the prices, or maybe I'll, I'll offer that as an an alternate way of shipping for my customers when I when they buy from me. If this is some of the stuff my customers go through when I use 
the post office, then I, I can feel their pain right now because this is ridiculous. I, I don't even know why they're in existence. Well, that, that's a whole nother thing. I won't get into it. But yes, folks, and we're a little, let's add a little positivity to this. All right. Don't know if you can see this statue, but that is Harley Quinn. And this Harley Quinn statue will be part of one of my upcoming uh, contests. So please subscribe and stay tuned. There will be more to come. Thanks a lot. Bye.